We'll go on a quick look at uh, the weekend's uh, result. Obviously, a, a frustrating one. Where do you feel you came up a wee bit short? I think you know we're going to find that you know every team we play against are, are putting up their, their best performance, their best fight. It was a difficult place to go uh, on the Astro again, but um, you know the boys gave us everything. You know they dug deep in the game in terms of a game plan. You know we managed to get that that goal that was required to go up in the game. Uh, you know reviewing the game and, and looking at it. You know we did have chances to possibly kill them off, uh, which happens in a game. Uh, and then again, when we look at it back, we know what we should have done better in terms of the goal that we lost. So, uh, but you know, you take away a point away from home, and it, and it was a very, very tough game. I guess it's a wee lesson in, in closing a game out when you're when you're in command. Just just keep keep the door closed. It is, you know, I mean, and as we spoke about it as a team, and, and the boys know that as well. As I say, that you know, they gave everything into the game. You know, we did create those chances. Uh, to try and kill the game off, and you know we spoke about how we, you know, we should have defended better. You know, in particular at the end in a, in a set play, which you know can be quite dangerous at, at that time of the match. I guess with such a much changed squad, with the manager bringing in so many players and changing things around so much, you know, you're going to get your ups and downs. It's not all going to gel instantly, is it? Yeah, I mean, you know, from now to the end of the season, we know that it's going to be a challenge to win every game. Uh, all we can do is, you know, is focus on ourselves, our performance, you know, how we want to play, uh, and then you know, there'll be a, a lot of different results from other teams as well. So again, we, we've got to think about ourselves, and we'll do that for the, the remaining games. Do you, do you accept the title race is maybe swinging in Ross County's way, or is it a case of there's a long, long way to go? Nah, for me, there's a, there's a long, long way to go. There'll be a few more twists and turns, uh, and again, if we focus on ourselves, if we you know, look what we're trying to do on the training pitch as well as what we do in the in the matches and keep trying to pick up the, the points and you know I'm sure there'll be a few ups and downs for the other teams as well. Yeah, like you say, focus is very important. It's, I guess it's just a case of ignore what Ayr and Ross County do, just focus on what Dundee United do and yeah. try and get a win each week. And, and that's what we're doing, you know, every day on the on the training pitch is you know what we're trying to do as a team and you know how, how the manager wants to play and you know that's a that's our main aim and main focus and you know, we, we've got to see what happens with other teams. A few other teams will have to do us a, a favour, a turn as well. There'll be points that will go up and down and you know, it's just like going into this game you know, Tuesday night. It's, that's the main focus. We've got to forget about the weekend and, and try and pick up the points on Tuesday. Yeah, Inverness at Tannadice tomorrow night. A, 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 big, a big game and one to look forward to. It's a great, great game. Uh, you know, another interesting team, another good team, good players. Uh, you know, Robbo's got them working very well, very attack minded. So, yeah, it's another exciting game, and it's one that, you know, we're, we're purely focused on that and picking up the three points. Yeah, what, what, what sort of a match uh, do you expect? Like you say, it's two good teams who like to play good football. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you're, you're looking at a, an entertaining match, you know, for the fans in particular. And, you know, just on that, the fans have been absolutely, you know, magnificent to us and the players, you know, in particular those, those away games, you know, it just makes a a massive difference when you when you hear the support and the warm up during the game and after the game and you know hopefully that excites them on, on Tuesday night and as you say, you know, both both teams have a bit of quality about them, you know, and an attacking sense as well. But you know we've got to make sure that we try and go for that clean sheet as well as score goals and pick up the three points. You maybe see this corner as being a bit of a, a, a cliche, but is it is it a must win tomorrow? Again, we, we can only focus on uh, what we've been trying to do. We're going to win every game. You know, we've prepared for this game. You know, we've we've watched them. We know how they play. Uh, the boys will be ready. We'll be going for the, the three points, and you know that will be our focus. You know, forget about Sunday and the you know cup tie. We'll deal with that on, on Wednesday. You know, we need to go and win this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the important thing. It, it gets back to the focus side of things as well. The cup game will be a magnificent occasion, chance to get to the last four of the. The Scottish Cup, but you just need to put that one right on the back burner, right? Yeah, and we know that the players know that, and the staff know that. Um, you know, we'll forget about that. Forget about that just now. We you know we're going into this game to to win on Tuesday night. You know, the important part is the league. The cup is a great occasion for the club, the fans, and you know what it could bring. But as I say, we'll, we'll deal with Tuesday, and then Wednesday morning we'll we'll start to focus on the, the game on Sunday. To say about one or two little injury issues might be putting it mildly. What's the, the latest there? Yeah, an unfortunate thing. You know, we've got a couple of injuries at the, the weekend, but again, it's, it's boys, players in there that are putting their body on the line. So, you know, we're going to pick up these little injuries. 
thankfully we've got a, a great group of players and that's what you have your you know your squad for where players will now come in you know replace them do their job and you know and as i say we've had that competition for places so it's down to guys to come in and, and take their chance so it's, it's great having a good bunch of boys and a good squad